We have decided to really put the focus on this whole uh, bundle of activity to start a an, uh, science uh, education day uh, in order to uh, provide a forum for the exchange of ideas uh, of how to do better science education, an exchange between, that has to happen between scientists, uh, between educators, teachers, representatives of the public authorities, science communicators, and everybody else who is interested from the public. Uh, so we want to not only share what it is, the science that's done at ISD Austria, but also how science and the scientific method works and uh, why is it is important, how knowledge is produced. Another topic that's very important today is, you know, what, what information is real and reliable and what is fake. The fast technical progress, of course, makes this all more difficult. I only mentioned here the, the, the keyword digitalization. And it's also, it's also, therefore, even more important that scientific literacy and critical thinking are actually things that are taught in school from very early on. Uh, this is really essential for us in the end to become uh, a, a, a better society, to help uh, uh, people make better use of new technologies and also to take away the fear they may have from new technologies and, and, and new knowledge. If science and research play such an important role in our society, um, we have to sh ensure that citizens um, kind of share this view and um, embrace, I think, embrace, if you want, um, something like uh, scientific progress. You mentioned it before, Tom. Um, this this uh, progress can be very fast, and I think this is um, uh, a point where we need to invest. If we really want to um, engage and encourage students to study and to be curious and to know what, the kind, what kind of world they're living in and to be involved in this world, we have to change the system. We have to leave the comfort zone and if we want to develop active, creative and innovative students who can, uh, who are not only driven by curiosity and base their decisions on the scientific way of thinking, you were talking about the scientific method, you're right, that's what scientific, science education should be about. Not about facts and figures, but about the method of making decisions and living everyday uh, lives. This is what's called inquiry-based learning. So instead of teaching the, the children or the adults, in, your, in this case, the answer straight away is to explore together what the answer is. You don't need to be an expert in science to be a good science teacher. And really, it's all about you know, daring to enter into that area and just you know, explore what's out there. So our everyday life is absolutely full of science from the devices we use to interact with the world, to the food we eat. And at the same time, there are, is, are many major crises in our public understanding of science, from vaccines to GMOs, etc. Now, let's take a jump over into the ivory tower of academics. Research is requiring people to be more and more specialized in their training. And, again, at the same time, the careers within academic research are becoming increasingly scarce. We have to equip people who teach in schools. We hear it about the kids, but who are the teachers who are going to convey that? So they need the ability and the opportunity to live and convey those skills. So if we want self-confident kids, we need self-confident teachers. If we want kids excited about science, we need teachers who are excited about science. If we want our kids to be leaders and exercise leadership, then we need teachers who are able and have the opportunity to do that. Because, and that's my last point, and teachers and parents who are here will know that kids don't do what we tell them, they do what they see us doing. So my uh, background in mathematics, descriptive geometry, those were subjects that were taught extremely well in a rural school. Uh, so, in fact, my former headmaster is sitting in the audience. I won't tell you who it is. Uh, <laughs> but uh, 
I had extremely dedicated teachers in this subject, and my education uh, reflects uh, this. It turns out my chemistry education, biology, uh, physics, maybe not so strong. My appreciation for these subjects, however, reflects my appreciation for the teachers that I've had in these subjects. I think the main, the main issue here is um, somehow make people realize, teachers, students, and parents, that understanding science is important because that's the main thing that I'm missing here. Good thing would be to support the, these local deviations because there are good teachers and we met them. There are fantastic teachers that are fighting hard to, to actually fighting against the system, trying to do something. And if we as scientists don't go out there and teach and help teachers teach and teach scientists how to teach, all of the above, um, nobody else is going to do it, and it's our obligation. In general, they really work on scientific questions, so it's not just um, presenting them facts, but it's what we are all talking today about. They're exploring science, they're exploring what it means to, to answer questions that you have in your mind, so um, the program hope, uh, promotes the curiosity and helps them to really understand what it is what it means to to also fail maybe in science as we heard scientists do this a lot in order to do those things we also need to help researchers understand how to do that you can't just toss a, a postdoc out into the world and say go <laughs> some of them are natural and good at it but others are going to be terrified and it's going to be a scarring experience for the rest of their lives and they're never going to want to talk to anyone else outside the university but because for the education system, even if we do choose to teach Latin or science or whatever we do, uh, we need to make it adjustable to the 21st century and its goals. It's a flexible, changing, dynamic society, and we need to create children who understand how to live in a flexible, dynamic, changing society. We're teaching them subjects for professions that tomorrow won't exist.